So, I love technology that makes your life easier, obviously. And, you know, some technologies do, some technologies don't. Uh, the issue comes in when people uh, don't know how to use technology and it makes life more difficult for all of us. So, something I, I love is self-checkout lanes when you go to the grocery store or Walmart or wherever. And I am very good, especially Sam's Club is a place, if you're unfamiliar with Sam's Club, it's uh, part of the Walmart company. It's a huge warehouse store where you buy stuff in bulk. And I love buying stuff in bulk and not having to go to the store as often. And they have self-checkout lanes. And unlike a lot of places where they have self-checkout lanes that are like 10 items or less, 20 items or less, they don't have any limits here, but they have a whole bunch of these checkout lanes. And I am very, very good. When I put stuff in my cart at Sam's Club, I put it so the barcode's facing up, and all every, every item has the barcode facing up and ready to go. So when I get there, I just go, I don't even take anything out of the cart. I go beep, 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 beep. And I can usually check out quicker than it takes it for to process my credit card. I can scan all my items. Well, um, today I go to Sam's Club, and again, there's, there's, there's at least 10 of these self-checkout lanes. And each one has, you know, two people lined up. Most of the time there, there's so many of them, I can just walk up to one. But they're, they're all being used. It's just a busy time of day. Two people in each lane, except for one lane only has one guy. He's got four things in his cart. I don't think he started yet, but he's only got four things in his cart. He's an older guy, so I'm a little concerned getting behind him. So I get behind him, and you can tell he's a little confused. And then his wife comes over, you know, and she's got some sort of bath soap stuff. So now they got five items, and you can tell that they're very confused trying to check out their groceries. It takes them a while. Obviously, if I got in any of the other lanes, I would have gotten through. So finally, you know, they check out, they walk away. I walk up, and it's a membership club, so the first thing you gotta do is stick in your card so that it, it recognizes your membership. Well, I stick my card in, grab the little scanner, start scanning, and I hear boop, boop, and it says approved, and it spits out a receipt for $35. They walked away without paying for their groceries, and I ended up paying for them. Uh, so I call over an associate, and um, I'm like, yeah, I just paid for the people in front of me. I, you know, I, they just walked away. I look up, and I live in Collier County, where 80% of the population is over 80 and all I see is a bunch of old people and I wasn't really paying attention. They were just some generic old white people. I couldn't tell. I don't, I'm like, they're probably still here. And, uh, you know, the, the, the customer service associate was a little, you know, uh, okay, we'll figure this out. And then I see this old lady walking back and she's looking at each of the checkout lanes at the register. And I'm like, this is her. She's realizing she didn't get a receipt, but she can't even remember what, what checkout lane she used. So she goes, I, she gets, comes up close to us and I go, are you lady that was in front of me? She goes, yeah, I go, I just paid for your groceries. She's like, oh, what, we put our card in, you know? So it ended up taking like 20 minutes. And I very rarely do I go there and not get frozen foods and stuff like that. This time I didn't get anything cold, luckily, because it took at least 20 minutes for this to all get situated out, which was super annoying. But hey, you know, at least I didn't have anywhere to be and I didn't have cold groceries, so that's life. Um, so, yeah, I love checkout lanes, self-checkout lanes. I can go there, I can check out, and I can be out, you know, in 30 seconds, where getting in a regular lane takes longer than that, because usually the cashier is very, mm, beep, mm, beep. So I love checkout lanes, except for when you get stuck behind people like this. That's why I do like Walmart's, Walmart now has, uh, you know, they'll have like 10 checkout lanes and one line for it, which is the way to do it. Um, the whole concept of having individual lines for each lane makes us feel like uh, like it's going faster because you're not in this long line, but most efficient way to have lines is to have one long line with lots of registers, and that way, if something happens at one of them, it doesn't hold up the whole line. The line keeps moving, but mentally we see this big long line. We're like, oh, this is going to take forever. So most stores have those individual lanes anyway. Uh, but talking about Sam's Club versus Walmart, which are technically uh, the same company. One second, buddy. One second, buddy. <laughs> The uh, scanners at Sam's Club are way, way better because um, I can sit there, I go beep, 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 and scan all my items. Where at Sam's or Walmart, you scan one item, you have to wait two or three seconds before you can scan the next item. If you try to scan two in a row, it's gonna, it goes bop, 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 and then you got to wait. So it's got to be scan, wait, scan, wait. But I still prefer that besides going through, especially at some place for Walmart where the employees just don't care and, and the lines are just backed up and slow when they got a hundred lines, but, but only two of them are open. And Connor, what do you think about the self-checkout lanes today when we were there and I ended up paying for those people's groceries and then we had to sit around and, and wait for a refund, which I hopefully, hopefully actually goes through on my credit card. I just had a little fun. You had a little fun? You were playing with the cart, huh?
Yeah. Yeah. Look at the camera. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Say visit filmsbychris.com. Um, I don't know. Say visit the website. Visit the website. And say have a great day. Have a great day.